Hey, so pneumothorax can cause a lot of pain, a lot of anxiety for our patients. So let's talk about how we can identify pneumothorax, what's going on, and what are some of our treatments. Okay, when we talk about pneumothorax, we're talking about air getting into the pleural space. So here's our lungs. We have our left lung, our right lung, and surrounding that lung we have what's called the pleura. Okay, the pleura is a little protective covering that surrounds our lungs. Now that's a great thing. It helps protect our lungs. It helps our heart expand. It helps everything with, with respirations to protection and everything. But what can happen is our lungs can develop these little blebs on them. These blebs are little tiny like vesicles of air and, and what can happen with those blebs is they can rupture. Okay, And once they rupture you can imagine that air comes rushing out of our lung and it begins to fill that pleural space. Now there's nowhere really for that air to go other than into this pleural cavity. So what will happen is the air begins to compress this lung down. Okay, The lung becomes compressed as this space fills with air. Okay, So that's what we call a collapsed lung is this air filling up in here but it can't escape, it can't get out of this pleural space, so it pushes the lung in, okay? That's a pneumothorax. Now what do we do with a patient who has a pneumothorax? As you can imagine, it can cause a lot of anxiety, it can cause a lot of pain, so what the physician can do is they can cut a little slice, a little incision here, and they can insert a chest tube, okay? So the tube will go in right to that where that air is collecting within the pleural space, and it will allow that air to come out, okay? Now when the physician enters that, it really does, it sounds almost like, like opening a can of soda or something, is they enter that space, and to know that they're in, you kind of get a sound of like cracking open a soda, and that's that air rushing out, okay? So as we allow that air to come out, the lung tissue then begins to expand again as that air escapes and it uh, releases that pressure that it has on the lung, okay? So this is John with NRSNG.com. If you want more free NCLEX videos, and free and clicks courses, head over to nrsngacademy.com.